So you just bought your new thermometric model for your new project. And you want to make sure it worked properly before actually using it, right? Great. So here are all your new TAM. Looking all good. Check. Now let's inspect closely to make sure there are no cracks or damages that humidity or other undesirable stuff can get in. Those stuff can further damage or shorten lifespan of your TEM. Well, for this one, check. Next step, let's make sure that it actually works and produces hot and cold properly. Well, without actually damaging it ourselves, of course. To do this, you can use generate AA battery or any low voltage source. The module will produce slight warm and cold without actually damaging the thing. This will also tell you which side is the cold side as well. Or you can just look at the module. If black wire is on the left, then it is the cold side. Or you can just swap black and red wire after install them incorrectly and it will reverse side for you. However, that isn't really a good practice. Now you're almost ready, but you can check a little more if you have a meter that can measure resistance. Just connect it normally. The reading should be somewhere between single digit or a little more than 100. Or negative of that based on which side of the sheet are warmer. If you see 1000 or 100 of 1000, that thing is basically clinging on its life right now. The micro cracking in its semiconductor couple are spreading. It is not gonna last. So there you have it. Feel free to share with us if we miss something. Enjoy your project and have a nice day.